Welcome, Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful life shares and support, Capricorns. Um, and welcome to the season. You have your own um, Pisces season reading, okay? So this is a season reading. It's not a monthly reading, ladies and gentlemen. It is a season reading. The seasons begins in the middle of every month, okay? Just like the full moon is at the end of this year. This is a season reading. It is a Pisces season reading. Pisces season reading. This is from February 20th until February 19th until February 20th. Um, I, they just did a test run, um, in, um, December and January. And a lot of people wants to have their own individual season reading so that they can make a decision to choose one of the crystals. So, so remember how this works is that Capricorn, you got to choose one of the crystal. One of the crystal is going to be advising you, um, as what decision to make and what is the right decision to make in this um um this series okay cuz it is a um a season and it is uh, the pisces season and how this is going to be going for you pisces uh, and how it basically works okay so ladies and gentlemen before a june um, please remember to show your love by thumbs up. Let me know what is going on. Please write down the week, the weeks and the dates that I'm giving because it is not a month reading. So the weeks and the dates are going to be different than the month readings. Okay. And also the weekly readings. All right. So the first week, um, is the week of the um 19th until the 28th okay so the first week is the week of the 19th until the 28th so in this week i see regrets um i see a lot of you are dealing with um friends whether these friends is whether these people is uh, a lot of you are dealing with friends now a lot of people is not aware that your own friends will block your financial flow and you gotta be um recognizing this okay because this is about your abundancy your money and your prosperity flow and a lot of people is not aware that their own friends uh, will block them now what we have here is the energy of the seven of cups okay the energy of the seven of cups is always gravitating to some sort of an emotional situation in the week of uh, the 19th until the 28th uh, and the energy of the seven of uh, cups is uh, where we are going to be recognizing um how we are going to be dealing with some sort of an issue so seven of cups is about illu um, um, illusion and deceptiveness okay so anything that comes up with seven you gotta understand the energies of the numbers whenever something comes up with seven okay it's about illusion emotional de deceptiveness okay now the seven of cups is about uh, um, um venus in scorpion okay venus in scorpion okay so venus in scorpion is about love so it, there could be a scorpion that is cheating some of you. Um, it could be a scorpion that is, is taking a lot of money, is draining you of your financial stability because this is an, a, a reading of abundance and financial stability. So you could have a, a scorpion. This could be a scorpion child, a scorpion friend, or a scorpion who is working uh, against you in order um to create some sort of an issue some sort of a problem so remember this is coming up as a family member or a lover okay so a family member or a lover that is a scorpion um you know could be um creating some sort of an illusion around your materialistic stability so you have to be aware um of who this person is okay it could be an ex-boss that is trying for you not to get some sort of a promotion and was working against you. But now it is in upright and it's so good that it's in upright because you're recognizing that, um, you know, it, there's, it, it is actually 
what you're recognizing is that um um you are recognizing who is behind some sort of a, a problem okay some sort of a, a financial situation some sort of a problem you're not recognizing who is behind this um it's being indicated who is behind this the face of the temptation in many aspects of your life okay whether it is cheating for pleasure or just uh, cheating your money okay so that's what i said emotional is cap so it can be relationship where there's cheating where um your husband is cheating on you so he's giving out his money on his girlfriend that sort of a situation could be happening okay and it could be that a scorpion is trying not to pay you um but is uh, um transferring the money to some place and they're going to be finding out and recognizing this so you will soon realize that you have been building a house of cards, okay? Um, you know, you may feel as though you can't see clearly and can't ju judge right from wrong, up and down, that sort of a situation, but not to worry, okay? Um, this is just the, 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 a play that people are trying to play, some sort of an illusion. That's why it, it, the name of it is illusion deceptiveness. And, what is going to be happening is that it, it's, it's best to remove yourself for, for a while and step back until you can see straight again. Okay, so so whatever is happening in this week of uh, the ninth until the nineteenth until the twenty eighth, uh, when the Scorpion season begins, you gotta recognize what is happening, what is transpired. Who is this person? What is transpiring in my world? How is this person affecting my world? Because a scorpion is trying to create some sort of illusion. The good thing about it is that it is in uh, upright. It is in the upright. So what is happening and transpiring with this energy in the upright is that you're seeing this person. Is that, you know, they're creating the illusion, but you're standing back as a Capricorn and is recognizing, oh, every time they come with some sort of a story, and it is always about money and that sort of a situation. And you're going to be recognizing, oh, okay. So I'm seeing you coming in, okay? It doesn't have to be a scorpion, ladies and gentlemen. It can be someone else who has the tendency, okay? Because it's about emotional illusion. And emotional illusion is like you have a girlfriend. And this is a good one. You have a girlfriend. And every time they're coming to you to tell you, oh, I bought this. Oh, I bought this. And, um... You know, they're going around and around and yeah, and I want this and I yes, I want this, but I don't know, I don't have enough money and that sort of a thing because they are going to be expecting you to say, hey, it's okay, I'll get it for you because, you, you know, you Capricorns are going to be just tired of the BS and think, yeah, if you want something, you buy it, you know, that sort of a thing. And that is just an example of one of these people who are um, illusionary and deceptive because they manifest on your your emotional self because they know um that you are a kind person an open person and you know if um someone needs something you're not going to be standing back and not helping this person so this person knows that you know you're open to help people but this this person is just uh, you give them a, a finger and they're taking your whole bloody hand okay and it's just always always they're trying to manipulate getting um a free lunch out of you like oh my 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 purse isn't here oh I, you know so be aware be very much aware um between the 19 um and 28th of february that is the first week please write it down for these season reading you gotta write things down for these season reading these are crystal reading where manifestation is powerful so you gotta write it down and these are going to be coming up every month so you write down your sweet spot and your sweet pack of when it, things are happening so what we recognize here is that you are dealing with this person that is illusionary okay trying to come with some sort of a story but there is something behind the story so recognize this okay um it doesn't have to be a scorpion to be honest because not all no it doesn't have to be a scorpion it's just someone who has this illusionary so you're looking at the librarians you know that sort of a um illusionary situation so be aware of this then we are looking in the second week we're looking at the mother of wands the mother of wands is a um, Aries Leo Sagittarian woman 
Um, it is water of fire, water of fire. So it's a very emotional person, you know, and this woman is 50 years and older, could be 45 years and older, whoever this person is. But you, you, you know, you have to recognize who this person is and make sure hold it tight with this person. And when I say make sure hold it tight with this person is that this person is, um, uh, this person needs to balance out a whole lot of issue that they are dealing with and they might be bringing it to your table all right because they're in the reverse and always when fire sign people are in the reverse you got to be aware of these fire sign people okay because you're an earth person um so whoever this person is is an aquarian gemini or libra uh ophios uh, no it is a pisces <laughs> A uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman between the age of 45 years and older. Now, whoever this woman is, uh, you know, this woman could be a, a very attractive person for some of you. Um, it could be um, some sort of a, uh, a vibrant person. They, you, you know, you, 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 you know, you meet this person. However, you meet this person it could be your wife, could be a sister, and it could be your mom. So this person is 45 years and older, so could be also your daughter, but they're in the reverse, okay? So you got to be recognizing this. Now, the mother of ones is a vibrant woman, okay, and, ha and a happy person, but um, it is someone who puts their family first. It doesn't really matter what is going on. Uh, um, a, a, um, a, a fire sign person put their family first, okay? She's a very productive person. Um, and she she's very protective of uh, you know what she have and the dominancy of a parents in the home so you know if you have a fire sign mother and you don't have a father that woman is going to be your mother or father so some of you it could be your mother um who you are dealing with oftentimes she has overcome great pain and trauma okay in her life and this makes it important not to get so uh, on her bad side so i don't know who this person is and, and how this person but you gotta recognize who this person is and you know don't get on her bad side but the thing about it is that you know you are going to be keeping this person off of you because a lot of you and this is what i teach a lot of people how you know to recognize that someone um you know is not uh, you know, if even they're in a group, you're going to be recognizing that person is not going to be my friend because of their uh, characteristics and your characteristics doesn't really go together. And most of the time, and um, that is it, um, uh, Capricorns and fire sign people can really come up against each other and can, and you know, it is like a boxing match. Okay. So, um, you know, some of you are going to be having this with um someone, and if you are a Sagittarian Capricorn, I see you taking down this person. Okay, so if you are a Cup Sagittarian Capricorn and a Fire person come at you, you you're going to be taking them down. You're going to be using the Sword of Truth and taking them down, especially if it's in a business or or a um something that this person have done you that was. Uh, um, this honest, I see you're going to be using the swords of truth and take this person down. So you gotta recognize so, who this person is and what is happening and what is transpiring because you're going to be now seeing the truth of what is happening and the truth of what is transpiring in order to exhilarate and recognize who this person is and what they're doing. So think of who this Aries Lee or Sagittarius person is. They're 45 years and older, can be an Ophiosis also. 45 years and older, but whatever is coming up, I see you Capricorn Sagittarians are going to be taking down this person because you are going to be standing your ground and said, hell no, um, this is how far you go. I am not playing and I'm not dealing with the situation before again because you have been costing myself, my life, my family, a whole lot of problems and issues and this is where it stopped. So I don't know who this person is for a lot of you. If this is a mother figure or a sister or whoever this person is, could be someone at the workplace. You're going to be making sure you tell this person, this is stop and I'm going to be ending this. And, you know, it is good for you Capricorns to just stand up to this person and let this person know 
um, that, hey, um, you have gone too far. I think that you have gone too far. And this is where this game is going to be stopping because I'm taking back my power. So obviously, this woman could have done some of you some sort of an injustice in the past. And you're coming back and letting this person know, I know that you did it. I know who you are. I know that you did it. And, I, you know, I'm going to tell the world of the horrible, horrible play that you have done and how you have created and cost my life a whole lot of problems. So, and you're really going to be standing up against this person and showing this person, hey, I'm not dealing with this again. I don't want to play your stupid games anymore. You need to recognize that you need to back away because I'm not accessing, um, you know, accessing um, you know, the situation and how you have treated me in the past. I'm no longer afraid of you and I'm standing my ground to what has transpired. Okay. So recognize this the first of the first of March until the 7th of March that you're going to be having to deal with this person. But I see you're going to be um, taking down this person because you're going to be saying no more, no more. This is where I stop. This is where I'm ending it. Okay. Then we are moving on to the third week. The third week is the 8th until the 14th. And in the third week of the 8th until the 14th, a whole lot of information is coming out. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out about this woman. I see this woman is going to be very saddened. And the energy of the moon in reverse, okay? The energy of the moon is about fair, secrecy, vividity. Yeah, there are some things that is not vivid. And this woman tried to create some sort of a unfair situations around you. And you're recognizing who this lady is and why, why, why your life has been like this. Okay, so you're now recognizing. So in many ways, the moon card encompasses the idea of the wild unknown. Okay, um, and, and it's about... People were unaware of what this woman have done. People were not aware of what this woman have done. People were unaware of what this woman was done and what this woman have been doing. And now people is now recognizing that there, this woman has a shadow side to her. And the dark mystery of this woman and what this woman have done and how this woman have created some sort of a smoke mirror to a lot of people. So Capricorn, I really love this Pisces season. And it's as if uh, uh, Pisces people are going to be helping you to overcome this lady and overcome the situation that this lady have created for a lot of you um, Capricorns. And I see that, um, you know, some Capricorns are going to be helping Capricorns against this lady. And the, the, the reason why is that I see... Um, that a young Capricorn could have been dealing with some sort of an issue that this woman has brought her in. And you're, this, 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 um, young Capricorn is going to be recognizing that the woman used her in order to create a, a whole lot of issues. And the woman is going to be going and, and recognizing who this lady is. And that this lady has a lot of, um, um, smoke mirror mysterious situation she also have the dark with her, her and you know i see a lot of you are going to be recognizing okay i'm clearing up this smoke uh, smoke mirror that this lady has created around me and let it go because i am getting back uh, my life and i'm bringing back my life uh, on track and i know what i want and i see a whole lot of you are going to be showing this up and letting this person know hey it's not happening anymore. It's it's just not happening anymore. You have played your game. Um, you have created some ridiculous things. Um, you have messed up other people's lives that have nothing to do with you because the energy of the moon is the Pisces. So there again, I said um, that the moon is linked with Pisces, but the moon is also um, linked with Scorpion. And this is one of those energies, the scorpion energies and the Pisces energies. So they said the moon is, 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 um, associated. This moon is associated with, um, the moon of Pisces. And that's why Pisces is going to be helping you. The Pisces series is going to be helping you Capricorn in order to reveal 
what was going on with this woman. People are going to be finding out what was going on with this woman. You Pis you 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 Capricorns are going to be getting help from the Pisces moon in the third week. And the third week is from the eighth until um the fourteenth. The eighth until the fourteenth. The third week is the eighth until the fourteenth. That between those days, that week, it is going to be helping a lot of you to recognize what who this lady is because the Pisces moon is going to be revealing um this Aries Leo Sagittarian secrets and people are going to be knowing what this lady have done. So it, it is it is powerful ladies and gentlemen it's very powerful and I can understand why a lot of people ask me to do um for every individual sign um, um apart is because a lot of people want to know um what's coming up for them with this um season okay because the season is different from the months all right we're getting to the last week for you guys and the energy of the last week for you guys is the, the energy of uh, new love is going to be coming in so the week of the the week of um the the 15th until the 20th of march the week of the 15th, the 15th to the 20th of March is as if something is going to be lifting. Whatever is lifting is going to be so powerful because the ace, um, you know, is about a new start. Okay. So a new start in love could be coming up for a lot of you. Some sort of exciting beginning to a new face to your relationship. So the week of the um the 15 until the 20th is going to be powerful if you're looking for love. Um it's going to be coming up in that week for you guys. So this is going to be absolutely powerful. Um and this this season expect to enter a blissful time of health also. Joy and friendship is going to be coming up, okay? And your love could be coming up on the horizon and that is going to be good okay you may feel that you're making a whole new start just go with it and allow this to feel the feelings of you going with this new start this good new love and your spirit is like yeah 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 this is a person that we wanted to bring you together with okay so it is a wonderful alignment of energies. Um, the Ace of Cups is all of, uh, always about loves. It is about new love. It's about new beginning. It's as if the universe is going to be offering a lot of you um, a new love, bringing in a new love in your relationship. Um, you know, you could be doing business. However, it's happening with business, work, and pleasure. Something, some sort of a new excited face is going to be coming up for you Capricorns. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful. So a lot of you Capricorns that is looking for love, um, go check out, um, the last week, um, the week between, um, the week between the, the, um, 15th and 20th of March is going to be powerful. That is going to be when love is going to be coming in. So, we see emotions, but yet still we see um, secrets is coming out about an Aries Leo, Aries Leo or a five sign person. This person is 40 years and older. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, Capricorn, they're going to be loving. Um, people are going to be loving you for who you are because you showed up a play that was happening and transpiring. And you're now recognizing, people are now recognizing some sort of a play that was happening and transpiring. All right. I got to go. I do love you, Capricorns. Namaste until next time. Ooh.